Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about finding equation of an ellipse. We have discussed that the general form of an equation of an ellipse is a second degree polynomial in two variables that is ax squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals zero where a, c, d, e, and f are elements of real numbers. While the standard form of the equation with center at h, k is given by x minus h quantity squared over a squared plus y minus k quantity squared over b squared equals 1 for horizontal ellipse and y minus k quantity squared all over a squared plus x minus h quantity squared over b squared equals 1 for the vertical ellipse. In finding the equation of an ellipse, it is very important to determine the orientation of the ellipse, the center of the ellipse, and the values of A and B. It will also be easier to graph the given to establish the relationship among them and help you in analyzing the problem. Let us have an example. Find the equation of the ellipse whose vertices are at negative 5, 0 and 5, 0 and foci at negative 3, 0 and 3, 0. We can plot our given on a Cartesian plane. From here, notice that our vertices, which are negative 5, 0 and 5, 0, form the major axis to be a horizontal line. Then, since that the major axis of our ellipse is a horizontal line, it follows that our ellipse is horizontally oriented. Moreover, remember that the center is at the middle of our major axis. Therefore, when we locate the middlemost point between negative 5, 0 and 5, 0, we can say that our center is at 0, 0. Moreover, the distance from the vertices to the center is the value of A. Since from the center to one vertex, we have 5 units, thus A is equal to 5. And it follows that A squared is equal to 25. Moreover, the distance of the foci to the center is C units. So plotting our foci, we have negative 3, 0 and 3, 0. Looking at the distance of our foci to the center, we can say that C is equal to 3. Hence, it follows that C squared is equal to 9. We can use the values of a squared and c squared to find the value of b squared. From the previous solution, we have known that our ellipse is horizontally oriented with center at the origin. Therefore, we will use the standard form of the equation x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. Moreover, we have known that a is equal to 5 and a squared is equal to 25. Also, c is equal to 3 and c squared is equal to 9. We can use these values to find the value of b squared. Remember, the formula for the c is c equals the square root of a squared minus b squared. We can write this formula as c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. Substituting the value of a squared and c squared on our formula, we can have 9 equals 25 minus b squared. So b squared is equal to 25 minus 9. 
therefore, b squared is equal to 16. Finally, we can now use the values of a squared and b squared to the standard form of the equation. Therefore, the standard form of the equation will be x squared over 25 plus y squared over 16 equals 1. This is the equation of the ellipse in standard form. Writing this equation in general form, we need to multiply the whole equation by the least common denominator. Remember that the least common denominator of 25 and 16 is 400. Therefore, we will have 400 x squared over 25 plus 400 y squared over 16 is equal to 400. Let us lowest term or divide 400 by 25. So we will have 16 x squared plus 400 divided by 16 is 25 y squared. Then let us write our constant term to the left side of our equation. So minus 400 equals 0. So this is your equation in general form. Let us have another example. Find the equation of an ellipse with the endpoints of the major axis are at 2, 2 and 2, negative 10. And the length of the lattice rectum is 16 over 3 units. Again, we may plot the given on a Cartesian plane. So we can plot the endpoints of the major axis at 2, 2 and 2, negative 10. Since the major axis of our ellipse is a vertical line, then it follows that our ellipse is a vertically oriented ellipse. Moreover, remember that the center of our ellipse is the middlemost point between the two vertices. So locating the center of the ellipse, we can say that the center is the point 2, negative 4. Taking the distance between the center to one vertex, we can say that the distance is equal to 6 units. Therefore, a is equal to 6. And it follows that a squared is equal to 36. Moreover, since the lattice rectum is 16 over 3 and the length of the lattice rectum is represented by the formula 2b squared over a, we can say that 2b squared over a is equal to 16 over 3. In here, notice that a is equal to 3. But based on this, a is equal to 6. Therefore, we need to multiply this fraction by 2 over 2 to achieve 32 over 6. In here, you can now see that a is equal to 6. And 2b squared is equal to 32. Since 2b squared is equal to 32, dividing both sides by 2, we will have b squared equals 16. From what we have solved previously, the ellipse is vertically oriented. And the center is at 2, negative 4. Since we have a vertical ellipse with center at 2, negative 4, then we will use the formula y minus k quantity squared over a squared plus x minus h quantity squared over b squared equals 1. Moreover, we have find that from the center, h is equal to 2 and k is equal to negative 4. A squared is equal to 36 and B squared is equal to 16. Substituting the center, A squared and B squared to our standard form, we're gonna have Y plus 4 quantity squared all over 36 plus X minus 2 quantity squared all over 16 is equal to 1. Therefore, this is our equation in standard form. 
Writing the equation in general form, we need to multiply the whole equation by the least common denominator. So the least common denominator of 36 and 16 is 576. So we will have y plus 4 quantity squared all over 36 plus x minus 2 quantity squared all over 16 equals 1 times 576. So therefore, we will have 576 quantity y plus 4 squared all over 36 plus 576 quantity x minus 2 squared all over 16 equals 576. Let us divide 576 divided by 36. We will have 16 quantity y plus 4 squared plus 576 divided by 16 is 36 quantity x minus 2 squared equals 576. Simplifying this square of binomial, we're going to have y squared plus 8y plus 16 plus 36 quantity. So here we will have x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 576. Distribute 16 and 36. We will have 16 times y squared is 16y squared. 16 times positive 8y is 128y plus 16 times 16 is 256 plus 36 times x squared is 36x squared. 36 times negative 4 is negative 144x plus 36 times 4 is 144 minus 576 equals 0. Next, let us rearrange the terms, writing first the term with x squared. So we will have 36x squared plus 16y squared minus 144x plus 128y then simplify 256 plus 144 minus 576 is negative 176 equals 0. So therefore, this is our equation in general form. I hope that you have understood this lesson. For the next video, we will discuss about the hyperbola. Thank you for listening and see you on our next discussion.